Boy. The burner fire. What? Hey, you got heat. <laughs> right on fixing that, I guess. <laughs> that looks terrible. I hate that. Nothing I can do about it, again, but, it, you know, I hate it. Good morning. We will not be hauling today. The lime hauling is on put on hold. We will be spraying the beans. Fungicide and the insecticide pass is here. This is what it looks like inside. Oh yeah. Beautiful. That uh we'll definitely plug some filters. Okay, I'm going to take this filter off and open up that valve and get this draining. Nasty, I'm sure. Oh, disgusting. Guess I can use the hose. I have to. Clean this mess up around here a little bit. I don't know where this seal went. It's somewhere. What's that? The seal for that. Oh, shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah. But searching through that, that's uh, I assume, is that Canadian thistle? No. Or what is that? Because uh, it's very thorny. I know what it is, but I can't. I have a handy dandy little app on my phone called picture this you can just take a photo let's get a better better shot of it here what is this it's a prickly lettuce it's a thistle prickly lettuce is a poisonous plant you just use this fancy little app here. If you ever find a weed in the field that you don't know what it is, you know, you can just take a picture of it and it'll tell you. It'll even tell you what you can use to kill it. All that other stuff. It's lifespans, a biannual, biannual, annual, summer, fall. Get up to four foot tall. Hardiness, what soils it grows in. It is definitely a weed. Pretty handy app, not sponsored by the way. I just use it because I uh, don't know the names of all the weeds. There's too many of them around here. So we're just gonna let that run out for now. Get all this water out of the tank, get it washed out. Man, we just, we look terrible honestly. Got weeds growing everywhere, all over the hog lot. At least the yard's all nice and clean, except for around the bins again, or need we needed once again, because that was months ago. And the grass needs killed on the driveway. It's taking over the gravel, as you can see. But hey, I haven't been here for like five weeks, so what do you want from me? I've been sick. So I know we're using this Avaris. That is the fungicide and Nuprid, insecticide. Other than that, um, the Sultris. I don't know if these get put in together, the Nuprid and the Sultris. Those are the products that we're using. Like I said, we will be shooting 20 gallon an acre, just trying to really fog everything around the beans. Just get that stuff out everywhere. This is a waste of my time. <laughs> and water. <laughs> I kind of thought it would be. Kind of need a pressure washer.
Boy. The burner fire. What? Hey, you got heat. <laughs> yeah, it's smoking. Yeah, you had when you hit that trigger, it'll fire back up. Why in the world? After all this time. It hasn't worked in what three years? Four? Uh, yeah. It was practically new when it quit working. It's working now. <laughs> okay. I was wondering what that. Yeah. It is running. Is it coming out of the front? Yeah. Very little. Really? Yeah. It's clogged. Remember what I had to do last time, just cut all the tubing off. It ain't gonna come off with just water on it. Yowie. It's hot. A yeah, little bit, yeah. I'll toast it. Gonna yes. <laughs> <laughs> burn a hole through the tank. What's that? Spray directly in that water and that's try what, to bust that shit. That, that's what I'm doing. What you need is like a pistol grip of some sort. It's got M2 slots on it, so you put a little sideways pistol grip, maybe ACOG scope. Really see what you're doing. Is that burner still on? Sweating. We got some beetles. That's for sure. Yeah, Don't I know. Worry about our four. Yes, they're it's late for sure. That's what I was gonna say when I looked at them last week. Oh yeah, my gosh, they're already pretty solid sized pods on there. Yes, we're worried about our four. Well, that's what I thought last week when I looked at them. I was like, yeah, they they're they're more than ready. Until basically these last couple of days of 105 degree weather. I don't think I was that. Well, not only that, but that was that's the only real humidity that we've had. I'm just saying, as far as the disease pressure, it's been so dry. Is there? I mean, obviously there's still some, but hasn't been that bad. Well, let's see if she's gonna start. Oh yeah, I can't climb up this with a backpack on because of this boom. The neutral alarm is not on. Should just fire right up. Came on just as I fired it. So we got it started at least. Okay, that the linkage was just off there. All I had to do was move it from neutral down to reverse. And it kicked it off. So the linkage on the hydrostat there was just slightly off to where it was saying, okay, it's it's not in part or not in neutral. So if that's the case and it stays off now, we'll be fine. But if I move this over to the water tank or the nurse tank and uh, put the parking brake back on and it starts beeping again, we're gonna have to jump it and probably just put some tape over it and just leave it in there. That way, that sensor just stays off because when we fill the sprayer I gotta turn the remote pump on and uh, yeah if that neutral alarm is going off it just shuts the sprayer down so also if you were wondering what the heck those really loud beeps were when I started it it's this uh, little monster deal here it's one of those things where you can Bluetooth to this and then it sends it over a frequency to the radio so that you can listen to stuff over Bluetooth because the radio in this thing is absolute garbage so um, I put music on with my phone so that I'm not just in here with my thoughts silently. Not really silently, it's very loud in here, but I can at least listen to something. Okay, we are moved over to the tank. We are, we have got the parking brake engaged. No alarm going off, so that's a noise. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and load for the fungicide and insecticide here. I've, you know, I've I've got a bunch of videos on how we load this. We just shoot the water in through the bottom of the sprayer and then I, I just top load on the top of the tank here. I'll just set the jugs up, load the chemical, and uh, call it a day. So I'll go ahead and get loaded here and um, 
we'll see you in the field. Well, that was quick and easy. I mean, I don't know, not even 10 minutes. Um, Cause we've only got about three and a quarter gallons of the Avaris in, and like a half a gallon of the Newprid and half a gallon of the other that we're putting in there. I can't think of the other name. Uh, I can't think of it, but anyway, um, so it's very light mix, like four gallon um, of product and then 800 gallon of water basically. So we were just waiting on the water. I got everything mixed and the, one of the, the jug, the only jug that needed rinsed. And uh, then it was just kind of a sit and watch. And the nurse plank didn't, nurse tank didn't plug. So quick running, this should be fast. As long as everything cooperates, we should be able to get done very quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these here and make sure that all these tires are all the way in. Because sometimes they can work themselves out. All that's doing is it's just pulling pulling these tires in. You can spread them out as far as you want, you know, um, for, for different rows. Some people got 36 inch rows, 40 inch rows. We have 30s. And so you can move the tires out however you want. But we've got them all the way in for now uh, with these skinnies on. And I'm just making sure they're all the way in. Because like I said, they do have a tendency to work themselves out sometimes. And I don't want to crush any beans as much as I, you know, as many as I have to, basically. I, the end rows I'm going to crush. It's just, I don't have four wheel steer or any of that. So there's going to be stuff that is definitely crushed. But as long as I can minimize a lot of that. I'm gonna try my best to do so. And anyway, we are just gonna be running on this 120 south of the house. Oh, oh, always a sketchy one, that entrance. And these beans look really good. So, I don't have to run my endro nozzles, but I'm going to still say on the left side here. I have to run over the beans, I'm sorry. I know, nobody likes to look at it, but here we are. Just the way that, just the name, name of the game, get the call. One, three. Hello. Yep, waterways, and I don't need to turn the fence around nozzle on. So, yep, okie dokie. Alright. Alright, bye. Yes, that was the other thing. I do not have to run through the waterways because there's no glyphosate or anything in here that's going to kill anything. So, it is just strictly fungicide and some insecticide to kill some bugs. We've got Japanese beetles moved in. I haven't really seen anything else. There's just nothing else out here. And quite frankly, as far as the Japanese beetles go, they're those really shiny um, green beetles. I'm pretty sure we brought them in here uh, to kill aphids or something like that, I believe. I could be totally wrong, so don't, you know, don't quote me on this, but I think that's the reason why we did that. We kind of imported them in here. And now they're a pest, so we, we tend to do that a lot, um, it seems. All right, I'm going to get my maps all set up here, and then I will see you when we are spraying, hopefully. If I have any problems, I'm going to go home. <laughs> no, kidding. Um, but let's, you know, hopefully they're all fixed now after the last 48-minute video or whatever of me just pulling my hair out, fixing everything on the sprayer. Now, you can see all this leaking over here. I just had another hose blow immediately. Why? Like, just kill me now, please. Sorry, don't. No, don't. They don't. They, not literally, but for gosh sakes, man, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just, uh, you know, I, I thought maybe today was the day. It's been going good. We're gonna have a good day. Guess what? We blow a hose instantly. Which I need to get kind of pulled around here where we can work on this. It's not. Get right on fixing that, I guess. <laughs> Woo! 
Okay, let me see if I've got a heavy duty. We need the long guys like I just put on there. Just Th That's the inch line, isn't it? Yes. I might have them. Y you had one that I seen, but yeah. Just change them all. They're, I, I thought I had junk. them all changed. I don't know where that came from. I don't know, but. Let me see what I got. We're not gonna fight this all the time. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> Well, I just lost 40 gallon, so. Your typical first day out. <laughs> it's not even the first day. <laughs> this is like the 70th day out in the sprayer. It should be all fixed and ready to go. I mean, this is kind of just, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just a pain. <laughs> Well, you broke yourself for the last six weeks. So. <laughs> well, that's true. And I don't think they were in here. That's where I found the last one. But I had only seen the one. Oh, 716. Okay. You're going to take the other one off. Don't put it on yet. That, that side shouldn't blow off. The problem is all these filters are plugged and it's good thing. <laughs> no, it's just the pressure. It, yeah. And I probably don't need to be running the pressure that I'm running, but with these tips, I kind of want to be. Oh. Good start. It's not building pressure. I did this to me last time. I have it on 10 miles an hour. So it should work. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, shut off. Shut that off. It builds pressure as soon as I shut it off. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. All right, we got everything figured out. We just had to shut off the cap stand system, let the ag leader take over and build pressure, and then turn it back on. And here we are. I just... I just don't know about it, Scotty. I like what it does, but man, is it frustrating sometimes when it's not working. Not sometimes, every time it's not working. Which is obviously with everything. I just, I just, you know, it's just, it's annoying. So here we are, here we go. Here we go. Let me lift the boom a little. I should have to put my seat, my seat right between the rows, but a lot of times if they're leaned over or something like that, you really can't see where, where exactly that row is. So I did crush some beans back there, but we're back in the groove again, so everything is running perfectly. Running about six miles an hour. About 60% duty cycle, so I could keep it. I'll, I'll kick her up in gear a little, a little quicker here shortly. And let me tell you, I absolutely hate spraying fungicide on beans because I hate running them over, and so I get very anal about it. And my back hurts by the time I get done to every field because I'm just so tense trying to stay off the rolls all the time. You know what they ought to come out with? They ought to come out with something, you know, they've got all these fancy satellites and like stuff like that in space now. They ought to come out with something where it can just kind of drive for you. There's like by, by GPS or like satellite signal to where the planner will, will just like the planner tractor and steer for you and then you can come back and like like maybe maybe you got like a monitor where it shows you the maps and then you can just transfer it over to the sprayer and it would run along that same path that you took with the planner and you don't have to steer it's just like maybe call it something like i don't know automatic steering wheel turning or 
or something. something we can work on the name later, but they ought to come out with something like that. The other thing I hate about fungicide on beans is when they get tall enough, it's really hard to see where your rows are. I mean, these beans look absolutely phenomenal. But, you just can't see. You just can't see. Oh, look at the puppy dog. Excuse me, puppy. I know you're excited, but do not come into the beans. And he's... Don't come in here. Don't do it. You're gonna get drenched. Alright. Good boy. Good boy. It is a cool sight, though. I do love running through stuff when it's this tall. It just looks cool. I'll have to get my dad to fly the drone because there's no way that I am going to be flying a drone whilst trying to stay off these beans because you guys are just going to see it the whole time because I'm going to be crushing the beans. So I'll get him to shoot some, shoot some video while he's sitting in the truck. And uh, hopefully I don't run over too much. It's actually kind of... Maybe I don't want him to do that because then he's just going to see all the beans that I run over. But, I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job. I mean... I haven't ran over anything in a while. But it'll be kind of neat to look at with the drone. So as you can see, there's really nothing you can do about pulling into the end rows here. You're gonna run stuff over. But the rest of the way, I'm just kind of turning the leaves over the whole way down there. If you do it right. If you've got auto steer, of course you're gonna be doing it right. I mean. It's not that hard, I guess. I mean, you still got to pay attention because your auto steer can get off and could be off when you first start in the field. But when you're driving the whole time, steering the whole time, because I don't have a Trimble or a wheel or whatever you want to call it or a GPS, the whole nine yards, and it's just it's just stressful just driving through, making sure you're not running it all over. To me, anyway, because I just hate how it looks. That looks terrible. I hate that. Nothing I can do about it, again, but, it, you know, I hate it. It just looks bad. And not only that, especially from the road, which, don't get me wrong, I've done it a million times where I just, there's just a ran over spot that everybody can see, but maybe it's just me. I'm just anal about it, but yeah, so far so good. We got 43 and a half acres done so far. Time to go mix again. Well, that was my last load for the day, as far as loading the tank, or not for the day, but for the field. Dad finally uh, just went around and mowed this area here where all those weeds were. Um, he just moved everything out of the way with the 155. He's still on the mower now, mowing around the little around the tank and stuff like that, but it was just bugging him that bad. And I completely understand because it looked horrible, but... Um, He's been living in the shop trying to get that car done, which there'll be a reveal soon. It's, it's, it should be done in the next week or so. Let's put it that way. Um, and uh, that 1974 Charger that he's restoring, he's been living in there, trying to get it done before a car show uh, here in a couple weeks. So he's kind of not really neglected the place, but <laughs> he just wasn't looking at it. The truck was parked in front of it, the uh, semi was parked back there. And he didn't see it until he came out. He's like, oh my gosh, this looks terrible. So, um, he had to go do that. Um, it was just bugging him that bad. So, I don't believe it looked terrible. But that's done now. So, anybody that was going to comment like, wow, you guys just do not take care of the place. It looks terrible. We know. No. <laughs> we try to, but it's just, it's been busy. And like I said, with me being gone, basically on bed rest for the last month, with the poison ivy in my eyes and the, the plague from Puerto Rico and yeah, it's just, it hasn't been good. I haven't been around to really help with the upkeep, and he's been sitting on that car trying to get it done before the car shows, and yeah. Okay, so I finished the 120, and honestly, it was only 6 o'clock, so I thought I could probably come and finish this 40-acre field that we have, because it's not too far from the house. So I went ahead and loaded. I'm here now. I'm just, I'm going to try something with the drone. could be awful, but gonna try it and you're probably gonna see me run over a bunch of beans but hey we're gonna find out 
I guess, together here. If it works, I don't know. Just here, take a look. Well, that took me only about, I don't know, probably about 40 minutes really to finish that field. So about an acre per minute, counting the load time. I could probably do about 50 acres an hour, something like that, with what we've got going here. I can't run very fast, which sucks because the tips that we have, they're too small and the other tips we got are too big. So we're running the ones that are too small so I can't really run. I gotta run under about seven and a half, so miles an hour that is. So that my duty cycle stays below 100% on this pulse width modulation system that we got on this sprayer. So, you know, it is what it is. I gotta run under seven and a half. It's absolutely beautiful today. There's no wind whatsoever. The beans aren't even rippling. It's so calm. The grass isn't even rippling. I should and wish that I could run 12 mile an hour, but I can't, so here we are. Um, I'm just kind of done for the day, for now. So we're going to take it home, probably feel it for tomorrow, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow. Let me know what you think on the drone footage. Tried to do like a little time lapse thing going on. I don't know. It may not have even worked. I probably, I may not even put it in the video. I don't know, because it was like... 40 minutes of footage so we'll see i guess uh if it was good leave a comment like you know like the video subscribe appreciate you guys watching appreciate the subscribers and uh we'll see you in the next one